<clears throat> hey there. So today we're going to talk about breathing again. Now there's three types of breathing and um, that we're going to discuss in this video. Now we've talked about diaphragmatic breathing before and so I want to encourage you to go back to videos um, regarding the why of diaphragmatic breathing and what the diaphragm does and where it is, all that good stuff. But for the sake of this video, we're going to go right into the three types of breathing and the whys and the when, when to those breathing um, te techniques. Um, let me say that correctly. Um, so the three types of breathing are this. We got the first one, and that's going to be a long inhale and a shorter exhale. Type two is a long inhale, longer exhale. And the third type is going to be long inhale, short inhale, longer exhale. Now the first one, the long inhale, shorter exhale is not one that we're going to practice in class or I'm not gonna give that to you for homework ever. Um, you might wanna use that from time to time for, um, for reasons of this. When we do that long inhale, shorter exhale, we actually alert the body to, to action. We're increasing our heart rate and we are like getting ready to like jump into action, fight or flight, move, get going. And for the sake of calming down and reducing anxiety, that's actually the opposite effect. So that one is good if you're doing, you know, sports, if you want to, you know, accomplish a big goal real quickly and get that body moving. Um, and we're going to put that one aside. Um, the two types of breathing that are a part of what we're doing and what I would love for you to practice this week and get more and more excited about this week is the long inhale, the longer exhale. And that one's going to put your body in a calm state. That's going to tell your brain that, hey, there's nothing to worry about. We've got time to let that breath go. We've got time to relax. The heart rate's going to decrease. More oxygen is going to come in. It's going to take its time filtering through the body, loving on the brain before it goes out. It's all good. So I'm going to do one with you, and then we're going to jump into the third type. So long inhale through your nose. Longer exhale, out pursed lips. And the reason why we purse our lips, one of them is just to make it so that we don't have room to let it fall out at one time. It gives us a mental control and an awareness of what we're doing to breathe. And that's good. If you can exhale with your lips open and take as long because you're thinking about that control, that's okay too. Don't get caught up over the pursed lips unless you let that breath go really quickly. Then you're going to have to include different techniques to help you remember to slow down your breath. Now that slow inhale, slower exhale, already produces calmness in you. If you did that intentional breathing for five minutes, can you imagine the world would be just so calm and relaxing. You would just be like, hey, life is good. It's a good way to actually incorporate into our day that five minutes of calm breathing. Now the other type of breathing, the double inhale, slow exhale, is one that you would see yourself naturally do after a state of like panic or crying. Like if you were sobbing, right? Which where you can't catch your breath or in some sort of panic mode and where you're trying to catch your breath, your body naturally goes into a double inhale state. So it looks like this, breathe in, and then bring in another breath. I mean, does that ring a bell, right? That short double breath. Now we're not gonna do a short double breath because that is going to probably get us dizzy, but that extra breath at the end of a long inhale is actually gonna fill up more air sacs in our body, for real. Like we fill our lungs and then we've got a little bit more of those little tiny air sacs that can fill up that actually help us regain that nice state of calmness quicker and increase oxygen and increase relaxation. So let me give you an example of what that looks like. Breathe in nice and slow. And at the end, add another quick inhale. Now slow. Exhale. 
exhale. Five minutes of that double inhale, long inhale, quick inhale, slow exhale. Slower, slower, slower will do great for you. Um, so here's the recommendation to try to get into a daily habit. Now, if you miss it one day, not a big deal, but a habit of regularly practicing five minutes of meditative, calming, diaphragmatic breathing, either with long inhale, longer exhale, or long inhale, short inhale, longer exhale. That would be so good for us, so good for reducing anxiety, for helping our bodies just get the best type of oxygen. And even just doing one or two of those breaths, if you're in a position of feeling anxious, maybe you're in a busy restaurant, um, maybe you're in a busy store, maybe just something just entered your mind that causes you to maybe kind of have a little bit of anxiety, just go ahead and remember those techniques, apply a couple of breaths, and then you're good to go. All right, guys, talk to you soon.